Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. Today I am going to show you how to make the 3D Ophelia Square. Now, you know already on the channel we have the Ophelia Square and that is just a flat square and I came up with that a couple of months ago and we have been using it on the channel. But then one day I had an idea and I thought, what if I turned the Ophelia Square 3D? So I have given the flower petals, giving it a 3D appearance, of course. So today I am going to show you how to go about creating the 3D Ophelia Square. So what do you need? I have my hook that I usually use for Starcraft Special DK, darning needle, scissors. And of course, at the moment, I am again just playing around with the uh, design. So I have selected these colors for a square that I'm going to make with you now. Uh, obviously, you can use whatever colors you want. Uh, here I was trying with some gold and some um, wisteria and then Lincoln. I like it, but it doesn't talk to me, you know. Uh, let's see how this works, but we will... You know, it's it's a fun project, really. It's a new take on a square that we already know. And now the fun can start with all the different color combinations that we can come up with. So let's get started. I am going to do my slip knot. Insert my hook. And I'm going to do five chains. One, two, three, four and five. Then I go back to the first chain, insert my hook and I do my slip stitch making a little circle. I'm going to chain two, one and two and now we are going to work in the little circle here and we're going to do 15 double crochets. So you yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I am sure that most of you will already know the pattern of the Ophelia square. But of course, we are now turning it into a 3D version. And again, I am super excited about that. So... And let's see what it looks like in these colours. Yes, Leila? What's the matter? Are you excited too? Yeah. Yeah, Shadja. Mom, Shadja. Better give her some attention, Leila. <laughs> two, four, six, eight, ten. One, two, three. That's thirteen. Fourteen and fifteen. <clears throat> there we go. So now we are going to go under the fifteenth V here and we are going to do a slip stitch. There we go. And cut off the colour. So I have quickly sewn in my ends and I have 16 Vs going round the outside of my work. So now we are going to create the petals or the 3D-ness. So I'm making a slip knot, insert the hook and I am ready to start crocheting. So this row we are going to use the front loops only. So that means if you look at your V, you have a front loop here and the back loop there. Normally, you sort of go under both those loops or both those strands. This time, we are just going to pick up the front loop like so. So you can pick up any way you want and you are going to do a single crochet just like this. Then in the next stitch in the front loop, we are going to 
do a petal. So that means you yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the three loops on your hook because you are doing a half double crochet. Then we do three double crochets again into that same front loop and that's three and now we do another half double crochet so pull through the three loops on your hook then we start this same sequence again so you start with a single crochet into the next stitches front loop and then the next stitch you are going to do picking up the front loop you are going to do a half double crochet three double crochets two and three and another half double crochet now do be careful because as you can see these front loops do extend so don't pull too hard okay keep keep them sort of you know from stretching too much then into the next front loop and this is where I have sewn in my end so that was a little bit more difficult but it's okay I can get into there my single crochet in the next stitch we do a half double crochet three double crochets and one half double crochet so this is how you are going to work your way around the whole of the little circle here now remember you have 16 front loops to go under you have 16 v so you have 16 front loops so you're using per petal you are using two stitches so that means you're going to have to make eight petals so make sure you keep counting your stitches and making sure that you have eight petals So I'm just coming to the end of my round. I've done seven petals and indeed I have just two loops left here for my single crochet and then of course for my last petal. So I am just going to do that. Finishing off the round and then we will um, be connecting these petals to close the round so we've got that single crochet here which we are going to skip but we are going to go under the v of that very first half double crochet there and we are going to do a slip stitch there we go okay so this has now created my petals and the 3d flower okay so there we go so now as you can see we have used here the front loops but of course here we have our back loops left over see there they are and this is what we are going to use now in our third round so we are going to go of course green I love trying to turn it into a flower <laughs> so make your slip knot insert your hook and you're ready to get started so here as you can see yes you've got your back loops but you're going to have to hold the flower like this towards you then fold the petals forward so you see the back loops and yes we always start with a yarn over and we start with a corner so and insert under any back loop and we are going to do a double crochet another one two chains and another two double crochets there we go okay so then really we are doing the normal round of our ophelia square where we are turning it square and we are going to do 
one half double crochet in the next three stitches so pick up the next back loop and you're going to do a half double crochet and the next one as well and then the third one there and then you are going to do another corner and then another three half double crochets and this is what you will repeat until you meet that first corner of course two and three and we do a slip stitch just past the chain under this v here and there we have it okay i am liking this look <laughs> So now really it is just continuing the normal rounds of the Ophelia square. So we are going to do the boxes row and I'm doing my slip knot, inserting my hook and getting ready. And as usual, we start in the corner and we make a corner, a corner of two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets. Then we chain one, we skip one, and we do a double crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, into the next one for a double crochet. Chain one, and then we skip one, and we are at the corner where, of course, we do a corner. And this is how you are going to continue your round, making the boxes and on the side, not counting the corners, you should have three double crochets and not counting the chains either. <laughs> but that's my sort of quick check tip. Have I got three double crochets? Yeah, that's fine. I've got the amount of boxes that I need. And yes, like I said, I am super excited that I managed to turn this square into a 3D square. I don't know what made me think of it all of a sudden, but yeah. <laughs> also, um, yes, this square has been quite an invention because uh, you might know that we have used it for a cow recently as well, which is why I wanted to do this um video separately because of course the other videos are all part of the cal and you might just have missed that if you haven't done the cal and also yes i want to use this um 3d ophelia square in other projects because i am loving it Okay, so I have quickly sewn in my ends and now we are going to do the last round of our Ophelia square. I really don't know what colour I should do it, so I'm just going to do it in the soft peach again. Um, yeah, like I said, I am just playing around with the colours, just seeing what looks good. And I just fancy doing this one, so we'll see. We'll see where it takes us. <laughs> so starting with a slip knot inserting your hook yarning over and doing your corner two double crochets two chains and two double crochets you are then going to skip a stitch here and then do a double crochet in the next nine stitches so that means some of those you will have to go in and some you will be going around the chain space so yeah it's just trying out colors now and seeing what would look good and of course seeing what kind of project I would make would it be a blanket a cushion a bag I don't know we'll see we will see and I'm already at the end so I've done my nine double crochets then you skip a stitch here and you start your corner And once again, skip one, then you do your nine double crochets. 
yeah, I like this. It's soft enough not to take away from the white. So let me continue with this and I will see you in a moment. So I am just doing my last stitch here, then skipping this stitch here and going under the next V there, doing my slip stitch. So here we have it, our 3D Ophelia square, where we have given the flower petals and turned it three dimensional. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you will try out this technique. I am really, really loving it. And yeah, let's see what color combinations we can come up with and what projects we are going to make. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.